Hey everybody, what's good? A little bit windy out here, but we're gonna try and do this video really quick. I got two things I wanna do before I lose all my daylight. <laughs> so I'm gonna install a Braum banner finally onto the center of my windshield, and then I bought, I got a new product in to clean the car. So I've heard good things, bad things, um, so we're gonna try it out and see how it works today. So we're gonna go ahead and get the decal on first, and then we'll go ahead and try the product out. So for the dry install, I've already prepped my window with some Windex or glass cleaner or whatever you have works. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and mask and tape it up and find the center of the car, get that going. So let's do that. So getting this banner on might be a little bit challenging because I'm doing it alone and it is really windy today. All right, so this is kind of like my first time doing a dry install on a banner at least, because I did dry install all my roll call details. <laughs> Um, I think that's pretty centered. Um, we're gonna double check it. So I did go with the wet application instead of the dry application. I had a little bit of trouble. So I think this worked out better. Just gonna let it marinate there for a little bit. <laughs> Always stick to what you know. Don't try anything new. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Try something new, but I'm in a bit of a hurry because of the daylight issue. So, oh well, next time we'll do a dry application. I do also have like one other little detail I wanna try and install. Um, it is the rear bumper one that I have, you'll see. <laughs> and I did make all these decals myself. So we're just going to let this one sit and marinate for a little bit, kind of chill out. There's kind of a better view on how it looks. It is silver metallic with a gloss black center for cool layers. It's a nice, clean look. Shout out to my homie Brian, Tyrato Racing, for always helping me out when I ask him questions about, is this going to look good? Is that going to look good? So you know props to him for helping me pick out the black and the silver outline look for this decal got to give him credit for that because he does deserve it for coming up with that color scheme and then saying it look awesome on my car we're gonna be twins as well as all the other decals i'm gonna be putting on my car for the roll call it was getting a little chilly outside so i did come inside the car put the heater on glass so it will heat up the vinyl from the inside so now that it's sat with the heat on the glass for a little bit and you can still hear my car running because I still have it going because it is kind of chilly out here. I feel the vinyl doesn't stick to the glass as well when it's cold. So time to peel the transfer tape off of the vinyl. It's been sitting here for a little bit with the heat going on inside. So it is a little, little warm. <laughs> as you can hear my car is still on just to, you know, keep the glass warm. trouble peeling off that transfer tape um, I've never used that one before it came free with some sample stuff that I bought so went ahead and just used it on this so on to the next decal this one I did have to grab the heat gun for since it is on the bumper All right, paint so this is the current decal that is on here I'm putting the same decal on just different style so it's kind of a sneak peek of the new set of decals that are coming, but you can already see my teeth peeling off there. I don't know what happened there. I did make this one myself as well. <laughs> Been on here for quite some time, so it's gone through a lot. So again, for this one, you're just gonna need a heat gun and a squeegee and the decal. Again, it says the same thing, just different look. It is matching the banner, except it is carbon fiber and silver metallic lining. The 
gel is all off, it's time to apply the new one. And I'm not gonna clean it with alcohol or anything because I do plan on upgrading my bumper. Hopefully sometime soon. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna have to remake the decal anyways for the new bumper, so it's not really it's temporary as well, just like the brown one. But I do really like the brown decal right there. I may just leave it. Again, thank you, Brian, for giving me the inspiration to actually go with this color combo and do it. And it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Day two of this video because I lost all my daylight yesterday. So we're gonna do the product review right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Just a little tiny box. And the first package that I did receive, the whole entire bottle leaked out of the package. So I ended up emailing them and letting them know what happened and sent me photos. And of course, like my invoice. And they got back to me right away. Like it wasn't even that long and they sent me a new bottle, no problem. So that's why this one took a little bit longer to film because I was waiting. And it is the Shine Armor. Because for most of us that don't, can't afford the ceramic coat, so it's kind of like a taste of ceramic coat. <laughs> or just like help keep our cars cleaner longer. Um, like I don't put my car in a garage. I wish I could, but I don't. So this should help. See how long it lasts. My car isn't like filthy dirty, but it is pretty dirty, so. This is perfect because it's waterless and it's kind of chilly outside, so <laughs> let's see how it works. And if they did send a little spray pump that you put in there, so pretty cool. Let's see how good it is. Go ahead and set it up. They're not really supposed to like smell things, but I love the way some of these products smell. Oh, it smells like grape! Oh my god, that's so cool. And it's purple. I love purple. Because I am clumsy, I just to like drop these. <laughs> Alright, so it's on there. We're all ready to go. I am chilling in my car just because it's waterless, so perfect for days like today. It's kind of chilly. Don't really want to get the hose out and everything. And my car isn't that dirty. I mean, it's dirty, but like, it's just some work. <laughs> it's not too grimy. So let's see how this works. It says, spray onto a clean, damp microfiber cloth and onto the surface you are cleaning approximately three by three. Step two, gently wipe the surface with the first pre-wetted folded microfiber cloth. Step three, quickly switch into a clean, folded, dry microfiber cloth and buff off remaining haze before it dries. Repeat this process until the entire vehicle is clean, streak-free, and ultra-glossy. Safe to use on glass, paint, metal, and plastic. All right, cool. Sounds pretty easy. So it's purple, just like my microfibers, which is pretty cool. I love this color. And it smells like great. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. So before you actually get started, you can't pump. So you've got to like twist this little thing and drop it down. There's like a little locking mechanism thing, which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, it doesn't spray. I did the driver's side of the hood and I'm about to do the passenger side in the Meguiar's waterless wash and wax. So compare the two, um, right away I could tell that it is super smooth. So this side was coated already with the shine armor. It does look nice and shiny. It's very like sleek feeling, not like textured or anything. So on this side, I'm going to do the Meguiar's. You can see the bird poop and dust and leaves and stuff so <laughs> let's go ahead and do the Meguiar's and see if there is a difference and you know which one would be better because the Meguiar's is like 
10 bucks maybe at like Walmart or HEB or whatever grocery store you go to you can just pick it up. The Shine Armor runs for I think it was like $19.99 or something plus shipping and then they like try and get you with all these other add-ons so you know let's see which one's better for your money because personally I've always been a fan of Meguiar's but if something works better why not I mean like I said the shine you can already see it's pretty nice on the carbon fiber. A full disclaimer I am not sponsored by Shine Armor or Meguiar's just testing out their products. <laughs> So here is the Waterless Wash and Wax by Meguiar's. As you can tell, I live by this stuff. It's been, been through some stuff. <laughs> it's pretty rough looking, but uh, I have just enough to test on the hood. So let's go ahead and test the Meguiar's out and see how it holds up against the Shine Armor. kind of similar as far as glossiness um, the only thing I did notice was the shine armor did not take off the heavier dirt and uh, bird poop stains as the Meguiar's did as you can see they both did pretty good though I did have to scrub a little bit harder with the shine armor side to get off the bird poop than I did with the Meguiar's Meguiar's for the win. Sorry guys. <laughs> it's bigger, it's cheaper, and it got all the grimy stuff off with no hesitation. Didn't have to like put any elbow grease into getting it off. It just took it all off. We're good. <laughs> I mean the shine armor was nice. It gave it a nice clean shine. I mean, but it didn't take anything off as easy as the Meguiar's did. It's better priced and you don't gotta wait for it. You just go to the store and pick it up. Um, Shine Armor was nice, I mean, as like something to try out, it was cool for the first time. Um, definitely probably won't be buying it again just because of the price. It was like $19.99 plus shipping and you know, the waiting period. And Meguiar's did get all the tough grime off that I had on my car without hesitation and the Shine Armor had to put a little bit more elbow grease into it and I don't want to really work that hard unless I'm actually doing a full clean and soap and water and everything. This was just a quick wash, no water, you know, I just wanted to do it really quick, touch up, uh, and unfortunately, Shine Armor didn't stand the test. So I just got finished doing the rest of my car and the bottle for Shine Armor is pretty small. I'll check the um, ounces on it, but I am pretty sure it doesn't compare to the McGuire's. I was not sponsored or hired by anybody to give my opinion. It's my honest opinion on what I feel about these products. Always open for sponsorship though, Meguiar's. Come on. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.